Imagine yourself now. Like, if you have a problem today of one millionaire, who can you call? If you have a problem today of one millionaire, who can you call? If you don't have anybody in your life that you can call for one millionaire problem, or two, three friends that can say, okay, you know what? Let me bring, let me bring, bring this one, bring this one. They add it together, and it's one millionaire. You are in problem. You are in a very serious problem. You need to wake up today. Learn to network. Meet the right people. Connect with the right people so that your life will be easy. Things will be easy for you. Life is not all about your strength or your muscle. No, it has nothing to do with that. Have a goal. Okay, this this year, what is my what's my plan? Have a plan. Have a structure. You need to structure your life and plan towards it. Don't be contented. Stay in one place. No, you are not water. You're not a stagnant water. Don't 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 be contented. Try and move. Try and move. Try and move. Try and move. Try and be any eye. If you are praying to have money, there are two things involved. Pray to have good health and pray to have long life. Otherwise, welcome, welcome everyone. Thanks for joining me on today's episode. This, like I said, is a public service announcement. So, without no further ado, I will be share with you five things that is making you poor. Five things that is make that has been making you poor. First of my link is that uh, you ain't same amount for too long. Yes, let's say for example you've been working somewhere, you've been trying to make a living, and you've been going your nine to five, nine to five every day, and uh, going for your nine to five, they've been paying you same amount of money for a very long time. And you'll be wondering why, after every month, your company asks you to go further. Like, let's say, for example, if your ROI for this year is, let's say, one, the next month, they will tell you to do two. Like, every company do a target. They want you to always improve. Whereas you, working for them, you have the same amount of money every blessed time, every blessed month. So, for you not to be in this, in this net, as a company are also improving themselves, you also you need to improve yourself. Yes, you need to improve yourself. Maybe learn a skill or do something different so that at least it will be added to what you are earning. So I'm not saying you should quit your job, but try and diversify your skills, not just your nine to five. Try and do something else. So my second is my second is learn not to exchange your time for money. Some of you, you, you believe that uh, working is all that matters and uh, you are praying for a change. It's good that you're working, but at the same time, you are exchanging your time for money. Yes, you are exchanging your time. You are giving them, the more reason why they are paying you salary is because you are giving these people your time. You are giving them your attention and you are giving them everything about you. So, in order not to stay poor, you need to learn how to work not to exchange your time for money in this sense you instead of always exchanging your time for money have you ever thought of doing a business doing something it's it might not even be maybe you trying to sell off a market it could be a skill like even this online that i'm doing right now talking to you in this video is also a skill it could even be a book you can write a book have you imagined those people that uh, your literature days that that does a, a book writing you see that every year there is one particular kind of literature book that is being recommended for students have you imagined the author that owns that book how much they earn like per semester different sets they, they recommend this book if this set goes away another set that comes in they sell the same book to them so imagine you are an author or you find something else to do yes look for something else to do against that your uh, exchanging time for money, working and someone pays you because it's very bad, it's very rare for somebody to increase their salaries. To increase your salary is very, very rare. It takes time, it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of time for them to acknowledge and uh, give you feedback. So, the number three thing on my list is majority of you, you have too much excuses. Yes, you give too much excuses. Let's say, for example, your friend calls you to come do something. Yes, come join them to do something. You give excuse. Ah, it's raining, you know. This one is happening, you know. Eh, okay, why have you not... Okay, let's say for example now. Why are you not into social media to make money online? Oh, I don't have a good phone. Eh, I need data. 
I need this, I need this. Okay, now, have you ever thought of, okay, how, what can I do now that I don't have these things? Majority of you, the more reason why you've not started is because you give too many sure excuses. Excuses will not, will not save you. You need to learn not to give excuses. Those things, they are there. They are just obstacles. They are not an excuse. You can't give an excuse. The more reason why you're not doing content is because of the fact that uh, uh, you don't have a good phone. Or, but you are using a phone. You can watch me. Why can't you use it to do? Instead of just being online, wasting away your data, doing things that doesn't matter in the society, and yet you will not be saying that uh, you don't have a good phone. That's why. Majority of you, you know what I'm talking about. You give too much excuses in life. And that is why you're not growing. Too much excuses. Why are you not here? Why are you not there? Do the right thing and the right time. Stop giving excuses. You will see that your life will be moving straight. So, the number four thing on my list is networking. <laughs> you see, the first, second and third, I was in a hurry to make sure I, I give out that one. Because I know this third, the fourth one is a very long and a broad, a broad word. Fourth is networking. See, when they say networking, eh, let me use parents, for example. If you are a father or a mother, if you have children and you want to train them to school. See, it's not about what is biology, what is chemistry, what is physics, or what is any subject they are studying. Networking starts with your education. Me, for, for example, I went, that, I think that's the only, I can say, not the only child, but I think that's one of the best decisions my dad made was to send me to a very good school where I was able to meet up with people. Even after education, I can be able to meet up with these people and they are doing well in life. They, were, they are in different places. My dad spent a lot of money and I'm advising you parents today watching me. Try and give your children this platform. Let them mingle with people that matters in society. Stop sending them to that school in your area, that one that is closed because it's cheap. No. Give them, when they say quality education, it's not about the book, oh. it's about friends. You know, see, the likes of your politicians, imagine where their children will be. Imagine if your child is in the same school with a politician that you know, a renowned politician, business tycoons and co, and their friends, their cliques. Imagine what their life will be. Let's say you are not a business person, you don't have much, but give them that privilege. They can be able to assess these things easily. But some of you, you will not hear. You will not hear. You will think networking has to do with uh, too much friends. Too much friends has nothing to do with networking. Networking doesn't have to do with 150 friends or 20 million friends. No, it has nothing at all to do with it. The only thing you can actually do is, even though there are two or three people, is you are good and they are fine and they understand you and you understand yourselves and you guys agreed on a common ground. You are good to go. You are very, very good to go. So learn this attitude today. Try and network. Network will save you from all kinds of trouble. All kinds of trouble. See, in life now, it's not about what you know. It's about who you know. You understand? It's who you know. So when you network, you know these people. You know the right people that can say, okay, yes, please come to this. The right people that can say, ah, please, oh, we want a contract of this, this so, 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 thing. Do you have, do you do this? Can you execute this project? Can you do that? Can you do this? They will save you at the long term. Yes, they will save you at the long term. But if you are on the same space, let's say, for example, you are just going to church, coming back, you don't network, you feel you can just stay on your own, you don't like troubles. I'm just looking at you. It's just a matter of time. It's a matter of time. And then uh, you see the effect of what you are doing to yourself. You need friends. You need people around you. That's the only way life is sweet. That's the only way you can enjoy life. And things will be easy for you. Imagine yourself, now, if you have a problem today, of one million naira, who can you call? If you have a problem today of one million naira, who can you call? If you don't have anybody in your life that you can call for one million naira problem, or two, three friends that can say, okay, you know what, let me bring, let me bring, bring this one, bring this one, they add it together and it's one million naira. You are in problem, you are in a very serious problem. You need to wake up today, learn to network, meet the right people, connect with the right people so that your life will be easy. Things will be easy for you. Life is not all about your strength or your muscle. No, it has nothing to do with that. Eh? So, my friends, if you're watching me to this, to this point, please leave a comment. Try and network, try and network, try and network. And the number, last thing on my list is contentment. Being contented doesn't mean you're unsuccessful. You can be contented and be successful. But if you want to be rich, like you want to be, 
you know these they, they do kind of thing now they die they remember the boner boy and the likes those ones are white diamonds and cool they wear different all sorts you want to live this luxurious life you cannot be contented look at likes of dangote for example these guys he started with he started with cement he moved to salt now he's in sugar now he has a refinery so <laughs> they are not contented so you too you can't be contented you are making let's say for example you are earning 150 let's say 150,000 per month you you should have a goal okay this this year what is my what's my plan have a plan have a structure you need to structure your life and plan towards it don't be contented stay in one place no you are not a water you're not a stagnant water don't 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 be contented try and move try and move try and move try and move try and be aiming high try and be aiming high well like i say and i'm continuing i will continue to say if you are praying to have money there are two things involved pray to have good health and pray to have long life otherwise your money will not be will not be sufficient enough for you if you've not watched my video please check on this video now i have other things i need to